Not long ago, Judy, 73, walked into my clinic, her legs heavy, her confidence shaken. I saw a video online, she said quietly. It said bananas might be causing this. And grapes. And juice. I don't know anymore, doctor. I thought fruit was good for me. She's not alone. If you're online, you've probably seen the headlines too. Seniors stop eating these seven fruits. They're destroying your leg strength. The thumbnails scream danger. Bananas with red X's, trembling legs, arrows pointing to disaster. But is any of it actually true? Do certain fruits weaken leg muscles in old age? Here's the twist. Some of what you've heard isn't entirely wrong. Because yes, when eaten in the wrong amounts, at the wrong times, or without balance, even healthy fruits can quietly drain your leg strength as you grow older. I'm Dr. Masayuki, a nutrition and aging specialist. After decades of research and clinical work, let's unpack the real story, myths, facts, and the hidden reason behind leg weakness you may not expect. What's really going on? First, the reality. Leg strength loss is a growing concern among adults over 60. It's often one of the earliest signs of muscle decline and is linked to a condition called sarcopenia, a gradual weakening of the muscles as we age. But sarcopenia isn't just about getting old. It's driven by multiple factors, your nutrition, movement, hormones, inflammation, and yes, your blood sugar. That's where this fruit conversation begins. Leg weakening fruits for seniors over 70 often share one trait. They spike your blood sugar when eaten alone or in large amounts. And when blood sugar stays high or swings wildly, it sets off a chain reaction. Inflammation increases, slowing muscle repair. Insulin resistance rises, making it harder for your cells to absorb key nutrients needed to maintain strength. Over time, this can lead to fatigue, heaviness, and weakness, especially in the legs, where muscle mass tends to decline the fastest. A 2023 study from Johns Hopkins University confirmed that older adults with unstable blood sugar levels were significantly more likely to experience reduced leg function and mobility loss over time. Think of it this way. Eating fruit alone, without balance, is like pouring gas on a fire. It burns fast, burns out, and leaves you drained. But paired wisely, fruit can be part of the fuel that keeps you steady and strong. Let me walk you through this, fruit by fruit. Number 1. Bananas, especially overripe. Bananas often take the blame, and not without reason. Overripe bananas have a higher glycemic index, meaning they spike blood sugar more quickly. For someone like Judy, already dealing with insulin sensitivity, this can cause an energy crash that makes her legs feel heavy and sluggish. But bananas also deliver potassium, vital for nerve signals and muscle contractions. They contain magnesium and fiber too. The issue isn't the banana, it's the pattern. One banana with protein and a morning walk? That's fuel. Three overripe bananas on the couch with juice and toast? That's a recipe for weakness. Fruit seniors should avoid for leg strength isn't about fear. It's about smart pairing, balance, and portion awareness. Number 2. Grapes. Grapes are small, sweet, and surprisingly sneaky. A few can quickly turn into a whole bowl. While they're delicious, grapes are high in fructose, and eating too many can flood your system with sugar. A small handful, about 15 to 20 grapes, paired with protein is usually fine. But if you eat half a pound in one sitting, that's over 30 grams of sugar entering your bloodstream. For those with blood sugar concerns, what fruits harm leg strength after 60 becomes more than a headline. It becomes a real concern. Increased fat storage in the legs, energy dips, and that dead weight feeling can all follow. Grapes in a salad or with some protein? Great. Grapes as a meal? Not so great. Number 3. Mangoes. Tropical, sweet, and sunshine in a bite. But mangoes are also sugar-heavy. 
Daily mango smoothies or dried mango snacks can feed the cycle of inflammation and insulin spikes that slowly rob your legs of energy. This is where we begin to see the hidden dangers of fruit for aging muscles, not because the fruit is bad, but because it's easy to eat it in ways that work against your body's natural rhythm. But a few cubes in a protein-rich yogurt bowl? That's a nutrient-packed treat with vitamin A, vitamin C, and mood-boosting flavor. Number 4. Dried Fruits Raisins, dates, and figs sound healthy, and they are, in moderation. However, drying fruit concentrates the sugar. For example, a handful of dried apricots can contain as much sugar as several whole fruits. Eating dried fruit as a snack throughout the day, without pairing it with fat or protein, can cause repeated sugar spikes. Over time, this slowly erodes muscle quality and delays recovery. One tablespoon of raisins has the sugar equivalent of 30 grapes. Judy thought her daily one-half cup dried mango habit was clean eating, but it was draining her strength. These are the fruits that may cause muscle loss in seniors, not because they lack nutrients, but because of how they interact with blood sugar, inflammation, and recovery. Number 5. Watermelon. Mostly water, yes, but high glycemic and fast digesting. That late afternoon slump where your legs feel like lead, watermelon could be playing a role. Still, watermelon offers lycopene, a heart-healthy antioxidant. Again, it's not the fruit, it's the portion, the timing, and your individual metabolism. Number 6. Lychees. Lychees have occasionally been linked to blood sugar drops, especially when eaten on an empty stomach. In older adults, this can sometimes lead to dizziness or leg instability. Something to be mindful of, especially when balance is already a concern. However, blood sugar drops from lychees are rare and typically happen only when they're eaten unripe, in large quantities, or on an empty stomach. For most seniors, having four to five lychees as part of a meal poses no risk at all. It's not about fear, it's about being aware of how to enjoy them safely. Number 7. Fruit Juices This is the big one. Juices strip away the fiber, leaving behind liquid sugar. Orange juice, apple juice, even trendy green juices with fruit, they hit your bloodstream hard and fast. According to a 2022 report in the Journal of Aging Nutrition, Daily fruit juice consumption in seniors was linked to higher levels of inflammation and lower lower body muscle function scores. The result? Muscles that fatigue faster, legs that feel weak, independence that starts to slip, quietly but surely. Now let me pause and say something important. Every fruit I've mentioned has value. But when it comes to aging muscles, fragile insulin balance, and the strength you need to stay active, it's not just about what you eat. It's about how, when, and with what you eat it. So let's go one step further and explore how to eat fruit wisely, to fuel your strength, not drain it. And if this helped you rethink how fruit affects your body, tap the subscribe button below to join Judy and thousands of others thriving after 60. Your next chapter of strength starts with awareness. So what did Judy do? We didn't cut out all fruit. We didn't ban bananas or toss the grapes into the compost. We simply shifted her approach from sugar chasing to strength building. And within weeks, she told me, my legs feel lighter. I didn't realize how heavy they'd gotten until that feeling started to lift. I want that for you too. Because while fruit seniors should avoid for leg strength do exist, the solution isn't fear, it's understanding. So here are five powerful, doable changes you can start today. Not based on hype, but on how your body really works in this season of life. 1. Pair every fruit with protein or healthy fats. This is one of the most powerful blood sugar strategies, especially after 60. When you eat fruit alone, especially high sugar ones like grapes or watermelon, it digests quickly and spikes your blood glucose. But if you pair it with protein, like Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, or a boiled egg, or healthy fats, like almonds or a spoonful of peanut butter, 
you slow the sugar absorption. That means less inflammation, more stable energy, better nutrient delivery to your muscles. Judy started pairing her morning banana with a scoop of nut butter and a boiled egg. She said she no longer felt like collapsing at 11 a.m. Do certain fruit weaken leg muscles in old age? Only when we eat them without thinking about balance. Eating fruit alone is like pouring gas on a fire. But pair it with the right nutrients and you control the flame. 2. Prioritize low glycemic, high antioxidant fruits. Not all fruits affect your body the same way. Some have natural compounds that protect your muscles from oxidative damage and support blood flow to your legs. Fruits like berries, blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, low in sugar, high in polyphenols. Citrus fruits, vitamin C supports collagen and blood vessels. Apples contain quercetin, which may improve endurance and reduce inflammation. These fruits don't just avoid damage, they actively support strength, stamina, and balance. Try replacing that large glass of orange juice with a small bowl of berries and a handful of walnuts. You'll be amazed how much more sustained your energy feels. 3. Time your fruit intake around movement. Here's a little-known tip from the world of muscle recovery. If you eat a modest portion of fruit after exercise, even just a walk or stretching session, your muscles are more sensitive to insulin and better able to absorb nutrients. That means less fat storage, less blood sugar spike, and more direct fuel to your muscle fibers. Judy began saving her mango slices for after her afternoon walk. It became her reward and her recovery, and her legs thanked her. A 2023 Johns Hopkins study found that older adults who timed fruit and carb intake around physical activity had improved muscle function and reduced fatigue. This simple shift can help counteract the effect of leg-weakening fruits for seniors over 70 when eaten at the wrong time. 4. Hydrate the right way. Many older adults think fruit juice counts as hydration, but it doesn't. Dehydration can make your muscles feel stiff, your joints ache, and your balance worse, and sugary drinks only worsen the problem. That's one of the hidden dangers of fruit for aging muscles, not the fruit itself, but how it's consumed. Instead, aim for half your body weight in ounces of water per day. So if you weigh 140 pounds, drink around 70 ounces, add a slice of lemon, cucumber, or even a splash of unsweetened cranberry for flavor without sugar. Use herbal teas or warm broths to increase hydration gently. Hydrated muscles are stronger, more flexible, and more responsive, especially when you need them most. 5. Be honest with your body's needs now, not 20 years ago. This may be the most loving advice I can give you. Your body isn't failing. It's evolving. And the way you nourished yourself at 40 may not serve you at 70. In younger years, the body can tolerate more sugar, more spikes, more imbalance, but as we age, our cells become more sensitive to damage. Our repair processes slow down, and our muscles, especially in the legs, need every bit of support to stay strong. That doesn't mean being fearful. It means being wise. Are some fruits bad for elderly leg health? Not inherently, but some can work against you if not balanced properly. Not avoiding fruit, but choosing the right kind, in the right way, at the right time. Judy came for her three-month follow-up without her cane, lipstick on, steady steps, and a hallway tap dance. I'm not fast, she smiled, but I feel like I belong in my body again. This isn't just about legs. It's about freedom, gardening, traveling, dancing in your kitchen without fear. So when you hear, should seniors avoid fruit to protect their legs? Pause. Ask. Does this nourish movement? rest, connection, and strength. If not, shift with care, not fear. You deserve food that supports joy, and if you ever doubt, remember Judy. It's never too late. Subscribe for more.